Hey, welcome back to Revamped Outdoors, also known as that guy you forgot was in your subscription feed. It's been a minute, been a day, it's been a week, it's been a month. It's been over a month since I've had time to post anything, but you know how it goes. Life happens. I think today we'll go over uh, a project I did a little while ago. I made rattles to insert into soft plastic baits. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You might be thinking, Elliot, you can just go on the, on the flea bay there and you can find rattles for soft plastics for you know pennies on the dollar you know you're not wrong but uh that's not what this channel is about this channel is about making rattles so that's what i did real simple design here nothing fancy let's go into fusion 360 and i'll show you what it looks like all right so like i said this is super simple this is fusion 360 if you're not familiar with it just search it on youtube it's all over the place you'll be able to find it you can use Fusion 360 by Autodesk if you're a startup company uh, at no cost, and that's what we qualify here for on this channel. Don't make any money from it, just doing it for funsies. So here we are using Fusion 360. Anyway, it's rather simple. It's a sketch design program. Um, I say that like it's actually simple. If you're not familiar with this program, it's a little bit daunting at first, but if you go over some tutorials, there's a bunch of good channels. I'll probably I'll throw some links down in the description. Like Desktop Makes is a great one. Lars Christensen has great channels too about um, Fusion 360 tutorials. I'm not the best guy at it. Uh, I'll try my best. I like to learn by doing, and then I'll post what I try and learn. So this is a very simple design here in Fusion 360. It's really really easy. You can see the sketch behind the body itself. So this gray thing is considered a body in Fusion 360 and then the sketch behind that you can see it's very simple all I'm doing is a revolve around this that's because it's going to take this blue portion and it's going to swing it around this axis so that's all that did right there to create this cylinder so we can take the top off and you'll see what that created created a little cylinder with a hollow cavity and then I just went ahead and did a similar revolve around the same axis for a cap. So essentially this is just a hollow body with a cap in it. You can see it with those two. Very, very simple design. About as simple as you can get in Fusion 360, but it works pretty well. The idea here is that we're going to insert some ball bearings of some sort in there to create a rattle. So this is a small er cylinder. Let's see if I can get into the sketch to show you. 2.2 millimeters across, so the diameter of that's going to be 4.4 millimeters. And then the height, I can't remember what it was, but total height on it is 12 millimeters. So half an inch by about a quarter of an inch or so, maybe a fifth of an inch in diameter. So really, really small. And we're just going to use that for a rattle inside soft plastic baits and hopefully it works i mean i know if it works or not uh i mean i'm making this video after but you know but you can see that there's a whole bunch of these these are printed at 0 0.08 layer height but what i did for that is the very first layer that creates this brim that keeps them all together that's at 0.2 layer height so the printer sets it there and then variable settings takes it from there uh from that point Two layer height it builds on 0 0.08 uh, so about 0.1 layer height all the way up to the top I do this for a couple of reasons one is the printer likes it a little bit easier um, and then when you get when in it's really small dimensions like this you need proper clearance so they snap together so the 0.8 helps it get a little bit more clearance I designed this up to fit a uh, number three steel shot sweet so this is a bag of number three steel shot I don't know if I'll be able to show you it it's very tiny there's one there's one little guy so this is steel shot you use this in waterfowl hunting because we don't want to introduce lead into the water bodies so it's required federally if you're going to go waterfowl hunting you need to use steel shot I prefer number three shot when I waterfowl hunt, so there you go. That's why I have a lot of this. I also reload some of my own shot shells every once in a while. 
uh, and I dabbled in reloading steel shot, so that's why I have a whole bag of this. Anyway, it just so happens that I drop them on the floor all the time. So I designed these cylinders up to fit that number three shot inside. So it fits inside each one of those cylinders and you can throw one in there and then just put the cap on. What I do is I super glue the cap on. So it ends up getting quite a few uh, in one print job and this isn't near the size of the bed for the ANET A8 but I figured this was probably good enough for testing anyway. I printed this out of PETG too hoping that it would withstand uh, some of the heat tolerances a little bit and it does a pretty good job. So what it is, I made about 30 or 40 of these, and then I went out into the garage to pour up some baits. So this was the first one that I tried to put a rattle into. It seems to work pretty well. The rattle system is still a little bit larger than one you would get commercially, but uh, it works nonetheless. What I did on the swim baits specifically was I poured a little bit into the belly section of the heated plastic, just hand poured it, then I placed the rattle and then I injected over that. And it seems to hold the rattle in place really, really well. Haven't had a problem uh, with the rattles coming out or anything. The problem with the rattles being about 12 millimeters long is that no matter kind of where you place it in this bait, it's a little tough to get the hook into. So if you use it like a drop shot where the hook is towards the nose, it'll work fine. Um, but if you're like using it on a jig presentation or something, you might not be able to get it all the way up the shank of the hook. So that's one downside with this chamber. It's a little bit large. Would have liked to have it a little bit smaller, but you know, that's how it goes. I decided to throw this rattle chamber into the hedge craw as well, and uh, it seems to work really well. And that's another one that's a little bit tricky to do. If you're gonna like Texas rig it or something like that, then it works well because that rattle chamber is in the middle. But if you were gonna put it on like a bass jig or something, you might have to just put it on the very end of the hook so you can still get the rattle out of it. The rattle seems to work decently well. Uh, you can hear it in the water, like in a tank or something, and then you can definitely hear it uh, out in the air as well. It's not quite as loud and tinny as glass, but it does produce a thump, which is nice, so it is something in there. The other thing to consider is what you print it out at, right? So if you print it with a white and you have it in like a clear or translucent bait, you're going to see that white, which is kind of a problem, but, you know, it is what it is. This is just a testing for this. I might print it out in something like a brown or a black later on if I want to try and put it in some larger baits. But for now, I thought it was pretty good, and it works pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with the result, you know. You can get the rattle chambers from different places. I got mine out of uh, from eBay. You can get it for pretty cheap, but... It's always fun to do something on your own, and it works out. So I thought it was pretty cool. I hadn't seen anybody really do it, so I figured, hey, why not? So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, that's kind of what I do here. Uh, make my own baits, use a 3D printer primarily for it, but I'm open to all things. Sometimes we will, we'll do some wood carving and stuff like that, but I'm not the best at that, so, you know. If you are interested in that, maybe consider subscribing. Maybe give the video a like if it's something that you're into. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took away a little something from it. I enjoy making these. I'm looking forward to actually making more. So it is getting to be winter, so it's going to be a lot of downtime, no fishing. Uh, so I'll be able to make videos. I say that every time, but, you know, I feel good about it saying it this time because... It might work. It might work out. Plus, if it's anything like the Wisconsin winter we're supposed to have this year, I'm going to be snowed in half of it, so I'll be around. Anyway, till the next one, keep your amps up and your filament dry.